What up, y'all? This your boy News, representing Ringside Rave all day. Y'all know what it is with me, man. Hey, today we back with another late night news. Ironically, the very first late night news I did was Manny Pacquiao versus Adrian Broner, the announcement. Well, episode two is Adrian Broner versus Manny Pacquiao, the arrival. And with me, I'll let him introduce himself to y'all. What up, y'all? It's your boy Leon. From Champ Side, as always, I appreciate Ringside Rave. Let's get into it. Yes, sir. Manny Pacquiao, I seen him arrive today, you know, looking in good spirits or whatever. But more importantly, my favorite fighter is Adrian Broner. I'm getting right to it, man. I ain't I ain't about to sit here and get into all the uh, politics, playing like, <laughs> oh, I don't have a favorite fighter. Man, I see my boy came in with the purple and white. Um uh, to the Meek Mill Drake going Yeah it's going to be It's going to be a good one You know AB is in He in a new type of situation You know like this He could erase all The rest of Anything that has Happened bad in his career He could erase that By beating Pacquiao You know right now And he got a good shot You know I, You could tell he's a lot more Focused too mm-hmm. Yeah he seemed like it Like I know he keeps saying Everything it's for the H-O-O-D But at the end of the day man a lot of people ain't been to Ohio. I'm literally from Ohio. I'm from Cleveland, Ohio. Right. Cincinnati, you know, it's a, it's small. It's not even as big as Cleveland. And it's just as bad. I'm not going to say it's exact as bad. You know, Cleveland, it's its own level. But Cincinnati got the same type of poverty, the same type of struggle, the same type of hoods, the same type of like, man, it's nothing. It's nothing here. And AB got that opportunity to get that victory, like you said, to get his whole career is like a when you get that half court shot in the basketball game, and then like you can win five million if you hit that uh, half court shot. This is AB's half court shot, All right? You know, Manny Pacquiao. I can't even say he's no pushover because he's a legend. He's not coming to let Adrian Broner do nothing. I don't right. know. I see. Yeah, I mean, Manny Pacquiao looked like he in phenomenal shape. You know, he still has. It's like it's like a Brady or a Breeze or a, a, a Kobe at you know at forty, they still better than dudes in their prime. You know that's how good they were. So when 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 Manny was in his era, he was that dude, and now he he still could probably be any welterweight in the world. To be honest, you know it'll be he might not be the favorite, but he's capable of beating any one at welterweight. So you know he still is is dangerous for Broner and. Like I said, AB looks focused. I mean, you notice that he he ain't really been with that bullshit this camp, you know, in his press mm. conferences and his uh, media. He's he's being not to say he's being more professional, but I think he's I think he's realizing you kind of like reap what you sow, and he's not trying to open himself up for that for that bullshit. You know, he's kind of locked in. You know what I'm saying? Right. Yeah, man. He been working hard, putting in work with Tank, putting in work with Lubin. But then every time when I peek over to the Manny Pacquiao outside, you know, I look over on AB page first, get myself all amped up, go over to Pacquiao page, and this dude throwing punches and fast forward, man. <laughs> like, I'm just happy that the fight week is finally here. It's no more talking about the fight. We get into the fight. A lot of celebrities going to be there. Like, this is going to be, I'm thinking that this is going to be, like, you can have a pay-per-view, but this is literally going to be one of the biggest fights of the year. I, Thing outside of maybe Floyd returning or Canelo GGG, I can't see any fight that's going to probably be bigger than this in the United States this year, as far as what we got on the table. So I'm definitely excited for this. Right, and I wish we could. I wish we could. Um, they do measure it, but I wish we could better measure uh, mm-hmm. uh, stream stream numbers. And I'm talking about y'all motherfuckers who don't buy nothing. <laughs> you know right. what I'm uh, I think it was Wilder Fury had crazy amount of illegal streams in it. So it just shows you, right? People are watching. So just because say you sold two million whatever pay-per-views, okay, that's great. You got I mean the purpose is you want people to buy it, but in this young age, you know, you you targeting people in the age group where we where we streaming now. You know what I'm saying? If if it's a matter of eighty dollars or just looking it up on the website people gonna do that but it's not to say that people are not watching so it's a lot of people watching and like you said this fight is is definitely gonna be big because adrian broner is a face of the black boxer in america today 
you know, Floyd is, is mm-hmm. crossed over. He's an international star. Floyd is out of everybody's league. He's out of every right. athlete in sports league. But within boxing, as far as the faces, you know, the whole hood, rock with AB. Then you got uh, black women all over the all over the United States who rock with AB. I seen them liking my my posts and stuff. Right. People I never see. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like uh, being attracted to AB. So you know he's. That's why I I like that he's. You know he's saying he's doing it for the hood and he's he not on that bullshit this camp. Like I said, and and I think that's that's why because you know he's gonna have a lot of people watching and he does want to put out his best performance. I'm hoping he do, man. That's all we can hope for. I'm liking how what I'm seeing so far uh, out of Kevin Cunningham, you know, keeping him focused and keeping him on task. That's one thing that I like about the um, AB and Kevin Cunningham tandem. Um, I did want to see them two fight again because I thought that they were in great shape. Just didn't think that getting together, they weren't really, they didn't really know each other. I think the second fight, we're going to see a much better Adrian Broner. Um, I think Manny Pacquiao is going to be there to give Adrian Broner the, the fight of his life. This is AB's second fight with Kevin Cunningham, right? And he looked, right. he looked, when in the moments he did have against Jesse Vargas, he looked good. Or, right. you know, he got off to a slow start, but, you know, that's, that's something that he's, you know, it's everybody wants to know at the end of the day, is AB going to let them hands go? That's the That's number it. one question. That's it. If AB intends to land, let his hands go by all means necessary, we're going to get a hell of a fight, man. And I don't see Manny Pacquiao like knocking him out. You know, everybody's saying, oh, like, like Manny going to push for the knockout. We seen AB hurt. He got a chin. You know what I mean? He going to dog it out to the end no matter what. So, you know, I don't see Pacquiao knocking Broner out at all, you know. Um, so that's I don't know I just know we're gonna see man but at the end of the day this was another episode of Late Night News got Chimp Side with me and we're gonna see y'all tomorrow with another episode of Late Night News uh, we out one